It's been rated one of America's most haunted small towns. And what better way to experience the haunts than with this upcoming spooky season? We got out on the road with our sponsor, Great Rivers and Routes, that encourages you to get out and explore the historic streets and ancestral buildings to experience haunted Alton yourself. I heard stories about Alton being haunted, never really thought that much of them. But we're standing here in front of the McPike Mansion probably one of the most haunted properties in the city of Alton. There's not a square inch of this hotel that I would say is not haunted. We ask yes or no questions and the spirits respond to that. We were in the Mineral Springs Hotel. This, uh, this is such a cool place to start and finish. When we do a tour, we say we don't know what's going to happen. I always say, watch me, if I yell and run, run with me because something really bad's going on. It's really Henry's house, and so I think it's a privilege to own it. Henry is here. We do believe that his mother, Lydia, is here, and his father, John Mountain. Mary, his first wife, is here, the love of his life, and they had five children together, two of which died at a young age. Other spirits, uh, Sarah, his son James, and uh, Jenny, his wife. So they're two of the spirits. Jenny tends to be our little trickster. Um, she didn't do anything bad, but she might pull your hair or different things like that. I felt like um, I had a hand on my shoulder once and a hand on my cheek once. Um, there's also Ben, and we believe that he was more like maybe a maintenance type person or help watch the children, but also you know, do things around here like that. We really encourage uh, your listeners to, to experience Alton. It's very historic, but it's very haunted in the month of October. It's really haunted all year round, but it's really spectacular the month of October. And to find um, great trip itineraries, blog posts, uh, event listings, and businesses that you can spend some time out while visiting, visit our website at www.riversandroutes.com. Well, if you have the gooseies crawling up your arms, it's okay because I did too. Both the Haunted McPike Mansion and Mineral Springs Hotel have tours that you can enjoy or not enjoy this spooky season in historic Haunted Alton. You can find out more information about both of these creepy haunted spots online, or you can make an entire trip out of it with suggestions from our friends at Great Rivers and Routes. And if haunted mansions and hotels aren't really your thing, they're not mine, but Halloween is. You can still celebrate the spooky season in historic Alton with haunted craft brew walks and the Holiday Fears Market. A lot of history of Alton, uh, but it kind of, you know, connects the haunted aspect to the historical aspect. So um, the details that go through, like one of our stops is the old post office and they're now a coffee roastery, uh, coffee house. And so we'll be tasting beer there. Uh, we'll be going to different locations as well. All right, the Holiday Fears Market is a new event for us this year. The past few years we've grown an event that people have come to really love called the Holiday Cheers Market. But we know that spooky people love to shop local too. So we wanted to have an event for them. So we have several local vendors with their Halloween themed goodies, such as taxidermy, leather work, thrifted Halloween costumes, uh, Halloween uh, treats and different things like that. And we'll also be releasing our new Halloween beer that day as well. It's new for this year. It's called the Spooky Scary Stout. And it is a bourbon barrel aged imperial stout with peanut butter and chocolate. You can shop the Holiday Fears Market or enjoy a haunted craft beer walk all throughout the month of October. You can find that information on riversandroutes.com. Hey, stick with us. We'll have a lot more Studio STL right after this break.